Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be discussing running away from God and kind of the implications of that and, you know, the effects of, you know, constantly just running and running away and kind of just my story and how I've kind of, in a way, refound, not refound God, but refound my um, place with God, I guess. And yeah, so let's get started. So basically, this all kind of started, um, you know, it's kind of just been building up, you know, my friends, you know, just, there were some friend things and, um, you know, I came home one day and, uh, I don't know, I just started thinking, you know, why the heck can't I have a boyfriend? That sounds so... You know, like, why do you, why do you need to worry about that? Why is that a worry? And, you know, I just, I don't know, people were talking about it at lunch and, um, and a lot of my classes actually, and it was just, I guess I got thinking, you know, I've never been asked to dance. I've never been asked on a date. I've never, you know, had a boyfriend. I've never had my first kiss. And all these things just kind of hit me like, geez, like everybody seems to have a boyfriend or some experience with a guy who actually went out of his way to show that he likes her and I'm just here. And it's not like I'm desperate. I'm not looking for, you know, attention. I don't need a boyfriend. I was just wondering, you know, like, what am I, am I doing something wrong? Like, I just, I'm a learner. And I wanted to know, like, if I was doing something wrong, how to fix it. And I guess I just was really upset. You know, I felt like, you know, all the guys that I've liked, I just thought that I was putting in so much work and so much effort into the relationship, you know, if even if it was. And I just felt like I never got that back. But... I, it just hit me. I was just so frustrated and, you know, asking God, you know, I've been praying. I've been praying for a guy in my life, you know, at least, you know, a, a practice run or something, someone to, you know, even if I'm not going to marry them, just to get some experience in the dating world. Um, and I just was really frustrated and I just couldn't understand why God could, didn't provide me with a boyfriend or provide me with a guy in my life that I really liked and that he really liked me back and, you know, we actually communicated and talked and, you know, could turn into something and I just was confused by that. And then also, you know, during this time I was really upset about, you know, my skin. I know I just did a video about that, about confidence and, you know, you would think that I'm supposed to have confidence, you know, with my acne, but I guess I just had a really bad breakout that you know, week and it just, it never ended. I was, I'm just so frustrated of always having to deal with my skin and, um, you know, it seems like a silly worry. All this seems like a silly worry, but you know, when you're in that moment and you're in that time, it seems so huge. And I've been trying to clear my skin for over like a year, a year and a half now with no success. And I just, I just wanted things to work for once in my life just to have something work and just to feel like I found a solution you know I'm just tired of trying things and them not working and it's just it really wears on you like okay I'm kind of done with breaking out I'm done with feeling you know kind of like oh, insecure about my skin I just wanted to have clear skin and to feel like I can go out and not you know feel like everyone's looking at my skin or just to have more confidence in myself not that I always have to wear makeup and you know take it just takes a lot of time and I just was so frustrated with all these things and just feeling like God why aren't you answering my prayers why are you not helping me why am I going through this why can't I find a solution to my acne why can't I find a guy you know and there was a few other things that just kind of you know it just adds to it and I just broke down I just I started crying and I was so upset and I just couldn't understand God's plan for my life and I sat home that day and I watched Soul Surfer on TV and there's um, a quote in that one incident, you know, they said in the movie and it just hit me. It really just stuck out. It, you know, I honestly started crying when I heard it. And it's for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And I just, I heard that and it really hit me and it hits me now a little bit. Um, but I was thinking that God wasn't going to help me and I wasn't trusting in God and, um, 
I'm sorry, <laughs> it just gets me like every time I read it, you know, how happy I am that my God, he's not going to put me through this to hurt me. These aren't, he's not, he's not saying no to my prayers to hurt me or to harm me or to do anything. You know, he wants me to succeed. He wants me to be happy. He wants me to be confident, to live a life and to prosper. And I just honestly felt so ridiculous all this time just worrying about these things when I can just give my worries and my troubles to God. And I know that he will take care of it. And I, tr I, I have trust problems with God. I can trust other people, just not God. I don't know why it's such a scary thing for me. It just, it terrifies me to not, you know, have the answers right now and to just trust in him to, you know, do what he will with my life. And that just scares me. But after hearing that quote in the movie, it just, it really hit me. And I just felt like this wave of calm, just this overwhelming sense that everything's going to be okay. And that I am a child of God. You know, I am beautiful. And how God sees me is what really matters. And how I serve him and, you know, my actions speak so much louder than how I look or you know, if I have a boyfriend or whatever. And I just had this feeling like, you know, I just need to have some patience. And I feel like that's what I've been called to work on. And, you know, God will provide me with a man that will love me to pieces more than I could ever imagine. And God will help me, you know, find a solution to my skin problems or whatever other things that are going on in my life. And, you know, it's not something that I have to worry about because God will worry about it for me. He will take care of it. And just knowing that I don't have to carry that burden on my shoulders anymore is just, oh, it's such a sense of relief. And I've been running from God and I run from God a lot, believe me. And it's so easy to do when things aren't going your way, when you're not getting what you want, when life just seems horrible, whatever. It's, it's so easy to just blame God for it all. But I really kind of challenge you and I hope that you can just pray and pray and pray and pray about things and just really start to put your trust in God and if you got give God an inch an inch in your life to work he will work he will just go miles with that he will do so much in your life with just that little inch and once you kind of get comfortable giving him that much give him maybe this much and then this much. And then eventually, once you're comfortable, just give him all of your trust. Because he cares for you. And he loves you more than you can ever imagine. I can't even begin to explain the overwhelming joy he has when you trust in him. When you are living for him and loving who God has made you to be. I feel like God opened my eyes to thinking that I was blessed that you know, he has been answering my prayers, you know, just these two things out of all of the other things that he's provided for me, you know, it just, he opened my eyes to how much he really has done as well. And the fact that I don't have lupus, I don't have to take shots every single day anymore for a blood clot I had. I got through all my AP exams, that I have a wonderful family that loved me, that I was able to get into um, a leadership program that I can get back to sports and that I can run and that I have just all these things and all these other ways in which he's blessed me and provided me answers to my prayers and that two things in my life that are still being worked on, I was focusing so hard on them. And he's working on them. Like things take time, you know? I mean, it's hard to patience and it's hard to wait for him. But just think about all the other ways in which he's worked in your life. and. That just gave me so much comfort, you know, okay, he's a busy man, he's got to work on other things, you know, and maybe he's preparing me for so many other things. And if I never had acne, if I never had these skin troubles, I wouldn't be here. I would never have found my voice and I never would have been filming videos or working on YouTube or doing any of this that I love. And I just want to end, you know, kind of our discussion saying running from God seems like the right thing to do in the moment, but it never works out. And that is kind of what we all know in our hearts while we're running. 
that we're going to get tired and we're going to get weary and at some point we just can't keep running anymore. But we keep doing it anyway. So I just really want to, to focus on where you're at right now in your journey with God and to take time just to pray about the struggles that you're going through. Pray that he can turn them into wonderful things. And just I pray that you can look into your own life and see all the other ways that he's blessed you. And if you can't think of any, ask your friends, ask family, and they will be able to show you and provide you with the answers that you need. So I really hope that this video helped you. It kind of was a talking rant video. I'm going to be doing some more stuff soon. Thank you so much for watching my video.